Hello everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to my latest video. This video is going to be a January cover page for my bullet journal. If you haven't watched my most recent video, I am setting up my bullet journal for 2021. My theme for January is going to be theming around Abigail Hobbs and forests. So um, yeah, if you don't know who Abigail Hobbs is, she is one of the characters in the TV series Hannibal. Um, that is the version of Abigail Hobbs I am going from. And yeah, she's one of my favourite characters that literally exists in any media. And I wanted to do my January theme around her. Now the painting itself isn't super to do with her, it's more to do with the aesthetics that she kind of gives off. So. This one is a forest painting. I wanted this forest to be very warm and almost otherworldly, but definitely to have a kind of creepy edge to it. So the painting has this really, really bright, almost otherworldly light coming from the back of it with really, really dark trees. I used, I think, three different references for this one. All of them are available on Pinterest. I would just put in pretty forest picture and stuff like that. I hope everybody is having a nice new year so far. I have been spending all of it at home since I'm back in the furlough system, but yeah, I'm, I'm actually recording this currently on New Year's Eve, so if you do hear any like tiny explosions in the background, that is actually fireworks. There's nothing weird going on where I live. <laughs> also, if my voice sounds a little bit rough, um, it just does sometimes. Pretty much on a daily basis the tone of my voice changes, so yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> um, it's a really really strange thing for people to pick up on, but I'm fine, I'm not sick, I just, my voice changes a lot. Um, particularly, I, the kind of like deeper pitch of my voice has a tendency to sort of like pitch up and down occasionally. But yeah, I'm not ill, I'm fine. Worry not. On another note though, I am really, really, really struggling with this painting. In case it wasn't obvious, um, I don't often paint landscapes in these bright acidic green and yellows. I mostly sort of sit on the more neutral brown colours and I really, really, really felt uncomfortable with this painting. It was fun to experiment with new colours, but you could really tell that I was not um, in my element painting wise, I didn't know what colours should go where, I spent a lot of time kind of blending back and forth and not getting through um, the ugly phase as you should, which is just to like lay down your colours and things. I was just blending and blending and blending, especially with that green background. God, I cut a lot of footage of that, but that blending stage of the green background really took a long time. While I do really really love the effect that it actually came to at the end, I kind of wish that I'd spent more time in the detailing phase and less time in that phase where it's super ugly and I'm just back and forth blending. <laughs> now this painting was done in my Mia Hime uh, gouache set. I do really like those gouaches, but I've actually got some newer, cheaper ones to try out and show you guys what I think of them. I have been working my sketchbook a little bit with them, and I think that they're actually really fun. Um, but yeah, I will actually do a video on those at some point soon. I wanted to do a forest theme for a while, but I couldn't quite come up with a kind of more detailed theme to it, other than you're just going to paint loads of trees and woods. And while that is also one of the big central parts of this theme, I get to experiment with some other stuff like teacups and deer and things like that. And that kind of stuff is a lot more interesting to me than just painting trees over and over. I'm also hopefully, touch wood, going to theme every month of my bullet journal this year around a favourite character I have from media or literature. This is to go along with the fact that I'm actually doing a 
reading and media journal this year. I probably won't film any of that, and if I do, you guys might need to ask for it if you do want to see it. But um, basically, it's going to be like your standard like reading or manga journal, but um, more broad and covering all of the media I've been consuming that year. So if I really enjoy a piece of media that I consume, I'm going to do a single or double page mini spread in that journal to show kind of my favourite things about the aesthetics of that show. I might also go back and re-watch some shows and do some pages for that, as well as we are going to be reading some stuff that we've actually already read. But we're going to go back into it and I will probably do a spread for those as well. So don't be sad that I won't be doing a spread for things like Hannibal and Tokyo Ghoul and My Hero. I will probably be doing spreads like those. And if you do want to see those, please go follow my art Instagram, because that's probably where I'm going to post them more often than on here. I don't like to try and clog up my YouTube with too many art videos. I know I've been mostly doing art videos this year, but I'm hoping to change that with 2021 coming along. I don't want my channel to just be about art, because it's not kind of the only thing that I do. Yeah, art is a really big part of my, like, existence and my kind of career, the stuff that I like to do, but cosplay is also my main hobby, and it's one of the things that I feel really comfortable and happy sharing with people, whereas art actually makes me quite nervous to share with people. <laughs> I think the painting started to come together around this point when I was seeing the shading and stuff coming in on the trees and that kind of feeling of seeing the glowing yellow coming through on the highlighted bits and the darker parts of the tree as well kind of finally made me start to see what the painting was going to end up looking like and I started to have a little bit more faith in the painting and feeling that I knew where it was going. Now, since this is a little bit longer of a video than my video previous, I thought I would touch on a little bit more of that 2021 goals vibe. Um, I have actually written down my goals for 2021, I will read them out for you. Now, um, most of my goals for 2021 are social media based, so there are things where I want to share more things with people and build on my social pro profile, so not specifically numbers, more just sort of building communities and posting more regularly on accounts that I don't post so regularly on. YouTube, I want to be really, really consistent with my YouTube channel. I have mostly been fairly consistent in 2020, but 2021 I want to consistently post twice every uh, month, and so that is every two weeks. And yeah, I just want to make sure that my YouTube channel is consistent, but also has quality content instead of just content that I threw together to hit a quota. I'd also like to share a little bit more of my kind of daily life with people since I, I've i always been quite shy about being on the internet so as I'm kind of putting myself out there more I would like to share more of my process as an artist and as a cosplayer. So yeah, expect more work vlogs for art and cosplay and maybe a little tiny tiny bit for a into vlogging if I get brave enough. We shall see. Another one is that I will be hopefully going to Florida next year if things don't completely go wrong. On the end of September sort of time into October I will be going to Florida Disneyland, so Disney World. Um, I'm nervous of this because it will actually be the first time I have been to America and it is also the first park um, experience I will have of the American parks. I'm really nervous of this, but I think it will go well, and we've kind of overplanned it, and this is all on the understanding that we actually do get to go. 
a really funny thing about this is um, we were supposed to be going this year and obviously that didn't happen but rescheduling it has meant that we are going to be going on the 50th anniversary which could be fun um, I'd also like to pass my driving test I am oh, I'm a little bit nervous about driving I still to this day do not think driving is really for me but I'm gonna do my best driving will open up a lot of career opportunities for me as well as a lot of conventions and travel so yeah I need to actually pass my driving test so that's gonna be something I'm gonna try and do and the biggest one is I want to start actually providing physical versions of my art for people so I briefly mentioned, I believe in my last video, that I want to open an Etsy. I do also have a Redbubble, which you can buy stuff from currently, but I want to start an Etsy so I can have more personal touch to what I want to do. I think I will be starting out with small things like prints and buttons, but eventually I would like to have things like t-shirts and enamel pins and acrylic charms, stuff like that. So yeah, watch the space, but fingers crossed, one day I will be able to make those become a reality, hopefully in 2021. Something else that I also would like to do in 2021 is to have a physical version of my webcomic finished. Um, that will not be the entire webcomic by any stretch of the imagination, but I would like to have book one printed as a zine that you can purchase on my Etsy. So if you do like I'm a Criminal, or you haven't read I'm, I Am a Criminal, go read it, but you would like a physical copy of that, hopefully I'll be able to sort that out. So, focuses for my year. I always write myself like habit focuses. So um, they're gonna be drink more water, um, be consistent with my eating habits um, so more veggies more fruit that kind of stuff healthier eating and also I want to carry on with my language studies I'm trying to become fluent in French so I'm working on that as well as keeping up with my social media as I said I want to post more regularly on all of my social media but one of the things that I really really neglect is my Instagram so I am coming up with a few kind of themes that I'm going to be sharing on Instagram a little bit more regularly. You'll be seeing a lot more fan art and a lot more kind of personal spreads. Um, another thing that I'm hopefully going to be doing, not every day, but a bit more regularly, is I'm hopefully going to be drawing more of my outfits. Drawing my outfits has been a really, really fun way to get myself to draw more but also get myself to practice drawing different kinds of clothing so yeah drawing my outfits will be a thing and I will definitely be sharing them a little bit more regularly on my different social medias if I don't show them on here they will be shown on my Instagram almost definitely <laughs> and you'll nearly definitely see at least a couple of them on TikTok TikTok is currently my biggest social media as well as my um I would say most popularly updated I don't know if I phrased that right. I update that one the most. So if you haven't heard from me in a couple days and you're a bit like, oh, what's he up to? I'm probably on TikTok and I've probably posted there recently. Um, so as you can see, the painting is pretty much done. What I did when I was finished was I took it into Photoshop and then on Photoshop, I touched up a little bit of the brightness as well as added the quote onto the top of it. My quote for this month is going to be, okay, let's tell my story, which is Abigail Hobbs 
quoted directly from the show. Um, <laughs> I like this one because it's a really good optimistic look at January, I think. It's kind of my, alright, let's start January off how I want to tell it. Each of my kind of spreads is going to feature a quote from said character that it's based around, so I hope you guys will enjoy that. It's going to be a silly little theme, but I, it's going to be fun to show. I will show you more of these if you'd like to see them, and also I will kind of keep people updated on Instagram more often than not about how these kind of spreads are going. Thank you very very much for watching, and as always, please remember to be creepy.